Hello and welcome back to RioCare. Hope you are all will be fine. In this video, I will tell you about how to create a standard title block and using that title block in actual drawings and templates. Right now, start from the scratch from this very blank template and then we all learn about how to save the title block as a template file. Also learn about use that template file in actual drawings. So let's get started. First of all, here we have completely black drawing and we don't even know about the units and standards which we are using. So first to ensure that the proper units, I will be use imperial system means feet and inches system and paper size will be A4 that is NCA. It's 11 inches by 25 inches. So first set the units, type UN in command line. Okay, in that change the type that is architectural. Also change the insertion skills from millimeter to inches. Make sure that these two settings are properly set. Also change the precision that is 1 16th of an inches. Okay, set that and press the OK button. Start with a rectangle tool. Click anywhere to start the rectangle. Then using a dimension that is 11 by 8.5 inches. So type at the rate 11 inches, press tab 8.5 inches. Now using a offset command, offset it 0.1 inches at inner side. Later than using a explore command, separate it. Okay, now let's make a basic structure of title block using offset command one by one. So first of all, let's make a 5 inches by 1.2 inches rectangle at lower right corner of our title block. So let's make it quickly. Okay, so basic structure of our title block is complete. Also make another structure at upper side that is revision box. Make it as previous method using 4 inches by 0.7 inches rectangle. Again using offset command, let's make it as quickly. Now we add the field, text and other information in title block and we all use it in a drawing. Now the information can be added in a title block using the text tool. So first we create a text style with standard text height standard font for that i will go to annotation panel and expand it so click on standard click on manage text styles okay now click on a new create our own text style name it as a title block Now change the font that is simplex.shx. Now height field change to whatever you feel will be appropriate for this case. Generally 3 16th or 1 4th of an inches will be used. We use a 3 16th of an inches. So we have proper text style. Check it from here. Now create a one by one text. First of all enter your company name. Now make another text style that is little bit smaller of that previous one that is 1 16th of an inches. Now enter all the standard details which can be used in a standard title block. Adjust it as per scale.
all right here we have completed all the major elements but one is remaining that is projection method so in this case we use a third angle projection method so let's quickly draw it a third angle projection method symbol Okay, so our symbol is ready now move on the another column and fill all the minor elements that is who is the author of the sheet what is the scale of our sheet and which date you have created your sheet All right all the major elements are completed but one column is remaining that is company logo here we can enter your uh, company logo that is tiff image or jpg any one you want so let's move the another column and enter a size of our sheet that is a4 also enter a scale that is nts okay all the elements are completed now move on the another column that is revision box now fill the one by one all the details like uh, previous one Now we all add some fields here so fields are some dynamic information that changed automatically once added and before adding the fields create another text style that text style little smaller than that previous one so change the text size now we can add the details for that you can use it command field and press enter so that first field which I'm gonna use is date for that go to other system variable here select a date this one format okay so 3 october 2021 this one is select and look at this so now we have this field on our cursor and it's taking the text style from this text style which we just created simply place it here once again i will use the field now this time select the document in that click on author i am not going to select any uppercase or lowercase formatting simply select none ok and place right over here we added now here in this section the drawn by section you can add the name of the author of the drawing or whoever created the drawing once again i will go to field press enter and this time i will select title so we want to add a title of our drawing so i will select the title all none again so ok and press here it will be shown with this grey background don't worry about that when you plot your drawings it will be plotted like a simple text without this grey background 
also right now you can see only dash this dashes here will that's because we don't have anything defined here in this case but when you add title block in any actual drawing with these fields are defined this will automatically populate the information of that given drawing now next step use command copy base select base point i will select the lower left corner as a base now select everything and press enter so everything has been copied to your clipboard and we will use that in a moment so now let's go to the layout and there we have existing viewport so just erase it don't need any more we have this paper we don't know any size of paper so first thing change the size of paper to nca so right click layout on go to the page setup manager now modify change the plotter to dwg to pdf one more existing paper size is nca select the nca expanded size that's one landscape view which we use 11 by 8.5 inches now simply click on ok and close it that's okay now use paste clip command bring it directly here and remember base point was lower left so make sure that i click well within this the plotter margin because anything which is beyond plot margin the dotted line will not show up on your drawing now we have some problem it's overflowing by using stretch command correct it making a crossing window for top and uh, right corner move it in a under dotted line Okay, so our layout is complete now it's time to rename it so right click on layout one option and choose the rename option and rename it as a nca paper now delete the layout to it's no more needed now it's time to save it as a template that it can be used again and again so i will go to the application button select save as drawing template so take a proper location and name it as a title block template now close it Here we have our uh, title block is complete with small and small details. Now it's time to close it. Okay, so we use template which we just created. For that, I will open any old drawing. There we have it. Okay, so open your drawing. So right now, if you notice here in layout, we don't have any specific kind of template or anything special so far here. So let's add the template. Right click and choose the option from template here find your uh, save template and open it look at that here our layout is added everything is now added exactly as per our requirement and also we have the date and other fields are properly shown so make it visible okay moving on this let's add the drawing here for that i will go layout tab go to rectangular and make rectangular viewport and the drawing is now added like this So make it visible type REA that is regenerate all command. Okay so that was all our layout is uh, complete. So now it's time to make it as a PDF. So in command line just enter a expert PDF. For that using that command you can create your own PDF. So choose a location enter a name and just press on save button your PDF will be generated. So that was all about creating our own title block with the field, text and other information and converting them into a template and using it in actual drawing. So if you have any question related that let me know in the comment section otherwise I am more active on Instagram find the link in the description and don't forget to subscribe and thanks again for watching.